let me check here general yeah can you guys hear me yeah so there was some people asking questions about purpose and doobie which i cannot talk about on the stream but yeah if the game blows up purpose is going to go crazy uh you might wonder say like uh how does that work there is videos about it you can look it up we have our own exchange everything easy peasy you got ether you get yourself some sweet ass purpose the graph can only go up that's how it works that's at least you know that's 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 uh yeah that, that's how it works yeah, yeah, yeah. The game, the features in the game require, like, if you go to Game for Good, you can buy stuff in the game using Purpose and Doobie. Chico Gaming, I actually wanted to give you a shout out because you 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 made some nice content. It's that's great. Like, I forgot about it. Like, I wanted to actually give you a, a shout out. Maybe I'll do that closer to the game because now it won't do so much. But I like your content, by the way, Chico Gaming. I like it. It's it's nice. It's actually nice. I'm surprised. You have a good uh, a good flow. You can actually get quite a following. Should consider streaming. But yeah. So yeah, for people, there is several links of YouTube videos you can check, and there's also the exchange. That's a headhunter. I really think shit is going to go crazy with Purpose and Doobie. I really think it's going to go bananas. It's going to be GME on steroids. But yeah, we have to see. Huh? Can someone link the videos, please? The two videos and the exchange. That's the roadmap. If you do some math, because the way the way purpose works, right? It has a supply wall and a buy wall. The buy wall is to be, the supply wall is purpose. You can lock your purpose for four percent of the worth of Duby. So hundred purpose you can lock for one year for four Duby. And as a result, since the buy wall is only for Doobie, we have 96% that we can use to keep, depending on how much of the supply wall gets depleted, increase the price of the buy wall and the supply wall. And that's what the roadmap is. It's basically dings. And today we dinked level 70. Don't know if you guys know. Today we dinked level 70. So you basically have purpose and you have its dividend. But the dividend requires you to lock purpose. That's how it works. By locking it, it also it's just, yeah. Anything can happen, RN1, anything can happen. Senizaria, people can always undercut the the, the supply wall. Um but yeah, if there is a demand for purpose, then that's not going to happen. You like you can lock purpose for three months to get one percent, uh, six months two percent, and one year four percent. That's how it works. You can lock for one, two, or four, uh, one, two, or four percent. What's with the purpose that you created and locked out? What do you mean? Purpose created and locked out? The only decisions I will make are ones that will increase the value. 
you created a certain amount, but only one mil got released or something like that. There is 10 million that we got. And from these 10 million, there is the amount that can still be in circulation is not locked and is there to be given to the supply wall. Because Reese has a lot of purpose. Huh? Is Tanya still around? People keep asking in the chat. Yes, yeah, she's still around. She's she, like, we're still together. She comes sometimes inside the room. Marrying, fuck marrying, man. I'm still in Germany, yeah. But yeah, if you guys have questions about purpose, please ask them. Eh? Like, it's a big fucking deal. You guys go GME, GME. GME is so stupid. It's such a bubble. It's so dangerous and volatile. Yeah, we dinged. We dinged today. We're level 70. You can basically use Clash of Streamers, the wallet, for purpose and Duby. You can literally go to Gaming for Good. You scan the QR code. It opens the wallet in the game, and you can instantly just buy. It's fucking insane. The user experience to use crypto in our game is just you scan, you got your shit. That's how easy it is. I'm a really noob, so I get purpose. What, what I would do is just, you know, get as much purpose as you can and sit on it. And I, the, the best thing you can do, right? The best thing you can do, right? That's my tip for free, right? Whatever you can, whatever you can miss that you go like, I wouldn't feel bad about, you know, that amount going to charity. You put it into purpose, you let it be, and after a few years, you go back to it. And if shit goes well, you don't have to worry about money anymore. If shit don't go well, you go like, whatever, I supported a guy. Unless you think I'm a scammer, of course. Then, you know. Yeah, purpose is, is, is I'm the creator of purpose. Why not tie purpose with die instead of dollars? We're considering of doing that, but die is not known enough. Die is not mainstream enough. If you say our uh, purpose is pegged to die, nobody fucking knows it. Aether is just much more in the, in the awareness of people. We would, yeah, we would keep minting purpose. Although, um, when you go to gaming for good and you buy stuff, we don't get the purpose, it gets burned. So the supply gets reduced. Will purpose and do we be listed somewhere? I think exchanges will start listing it after the game is out. I'm actually quite certain they will because they want part, part of the pie. I think purpose and Duby will become some of the biggest cryptocurrencies. Uh, because purpose and Duby will like, I mean, Crypto kitties went viral. I really think we, our shit will go viral in the crypto world. It's insane. February is still looking good. Anyone can get purpose. But Dioza, you know, you, you've been watching the after party so much. These are strange questions. You know all this shit, right? Unless this is an alt account or something. No. Crypto kitties is not so much a thing. Do you think purpose can get higher than Bitcoin? Procentually guaranteed, almost guaranteed. 
can't can't guarantee stuff because of legal reasons but almost like i mean if if you want twice your bitcoin it's bitcoin has to go adk twice purpose purpose has to go to six dollars i mean that's nothing like the, the difference is completely different it's like it's basically purposes when bitcoin was one dollar that's where purpose is at right now purpose might be on uniswap as well is there a strategy if the game flops or is not as popular as expected then we see through analytics what is where, where the where people are quitting you just look at statistics and you see how to improve it No, purpose cannot reach 30k. I think purpose can reach 2.5k, but not 30k. The system doesn't allow it to go to a certain threshold. Any thoughts on GameStop? Um, it's very volatile. Be very, be very, very, very careful. Okay, team, how much do I have to invest? I don't call it investment. Because if you, you know, like, like uh, the, the, the way I put it is if you believe in our projects, you get purpose. And if you don't, you don't. Like the investment language is too legally uh, scary. We didn't get into GameStop. No, we didn't do anything. 1% net worth or 10% net worth into purpose? Are you talking about you or about us? Pump, the way purpose works is you can lock purpose and keep your purpose and you get doobie. You can literally live on your doobie and keep your purpose. Well, look into the best thing I can tell you guys is to just fucking look into purpose. Like there is videos and everything. Purpose, I'm telling you, is the biggest golden goose on the internet right now, by far, the biggest. And once the game comes out, you're gonna you're gonna look back to this fucking Discord. You're gonna this fucker called it, and he he fucking called it. He said it was gonna fucking happen. And I was just there sitting, not giving a shit, going like whatever, looking at GameStop, which is just a fucking, you know, like little bubble. That guy showed a fucking game, explained how it works, showed AFK Arena, $1.5 billion, has full, like this game has full uh, blockchain integration, streaming. Once the game blows up, right, everybody will think it's normal. It was obvious that it was going to blow up. Oh, normally. Yeah, it has streamer integration and it has blockchain. Of course it would blow up. Now people are just laughing at me, but in retrospect, people will just all think it was normal. Well, then get on the fucking train, man. I think you think you go too far with throwing Tom stamps. It's getting hard to know if you're throwing or not. For example, you don't mind exploiting people with Clash of Streamers to get money from them, but you do good in the world with money. But how can we know you are not exploiting people with purpose to do also good in the world? If the end justifies me, it would make sense. Well, PP99, I'll give you the best answer to that question. Only an idiot does a win-lose trade. If you're truly smart, you find a system where both party wins because then you can keep it rolling. Even with Clash of Streamers, people can make money. Other games, you can't. Other games, you lose your time and it's gone. With Clash of Streamers, you can build a following. You can make fucking cash. If you think win-win, that's when you win. So if I would take, care, take advantage of you guys, I would only be able to do it once and then I, I lose your trust. It's just a dumb play. If I'm smart, I don't do that shit. Let's say your best friend asks for your advice. He's a normal working guy with 100K saving. What would you honestly advise him? How much to invest? I don't use the word investing, though. I would just tell the guy, uh, I don't. Man, I would just be balls deep. <laughs> 
That would be ballsy. Man, who went all in, by the way, here? Who went all in into purpose when it was half a dollar? I remember. How much do you guys have now? <laughs> like, just ask the other guys. Because I, like, the thing is, like, like when people are telling me, like, okay, like, how, how much, you know, how much do I go? How much do I go? It's like, but I don't call it investing because legalities, it's very strict. Though. I'm not allowed to give investment advice. I'm just saying. Both are cryptocurrencies, but Bitcoin has nothing to back its value. Bitcoin is truly pyramid scheme. People are saying purpose is pyramid scheme. Fuck that shit. Purpose has Clash of Streamers that fully works with, has DubiX that fully works with it. It actually has stuff that backs it up, that gives it value. Bitcoin, only value is what people give it. But yeah. No, Zen, Zenizaria, that's not true. I think our game will attract a lot of crypto whales. Crypto whales, right? What do they do? They have a portfolio. They, you know, have many different uh, coins they, they have. And these guys are rich as fuck. They will just lull and, 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 and get, you know, they will just drop 10 mil on purpose like that. Man, you guys have no idea. The crypto world is insane. Billions of dollars go through fucking Bitcoin. More than billions. It's insane. They just go whatever. Oh, purpose. They, they get a little grasp of it. We could, if I wanted to, right? I could get $20 million into purpose like that. We gave fucking $3 million back to a crypto whale because he had too much of the, right? Uh, too much of the, he had just too much of the, what is it called? He had too much, uh, Three million, yes. Market share. He had too much of a market share. He could manipulate the entire so we gave it all back. I want I want it to be diversified. I want a lot of fucking poor chumps to get it. And then when shit hits the fan, they get, you know, more rich, but they don't become billionaires. Maybe millionaires or something, depending on how much they got. But I don't want a fucking millionaire crypto whale to come really that early and then become a fucking billionaire and can just tank everything and literally can literally play like it's not healthy for the coin so i gave him all the cash back and that goes to show huh? like that on and by itself goes to show how true we are huh? We gave literally a crypto whale, 3 million crypto back. Yeah? We send it back because it wasn't healthy for the coin. He had just too much fucking purpose. He had 50% of the entire volume that was in circulation. Do you guys know how fucking crazy that is? One guy having 50%. I think what's the difference between purpose and a stock for a company like Blizzard? The difference is a thing. That's the difference. <laughs> so all the people who donated back when purpose was a two or one? Could double, like people got six times their cash, bro. There's a guy that sold $80,000, bought for 15K at the start, made literally uh, $65,000. That's literally a few weeks ago. He sold around 80K over the course of a month, $80,000, and he bought at 15K. I'm just saying, this is not... Bo and then people tell me they get... Like, people say purpose is a scam. My fucking ass, man. There is an exchange. We have our own exchange. You need Ether, and then with Ether, you can get purpose. Someone can link the exchange. Can someone link the exchange? 
There it is. What if the general public decides to cancel the game? Getting removed from Google iOS Store would be brutal. But why? I mean, we follow all TOS like fucking Nazi, really a la lettre. And Apple and, and Google, they are just businesses. They want to make money. PogChamp in the game does not use the PogChamp emote. It uses uh, interpretation. It's perfectly legally allowed. We already checked with lawyers and everything. Why do you still care so much about the words you use? You already said stuff that you could get in trouble in the past, so it doesn't matter anymore, does it? It does, it does, it does. I'm very careful with what I say. I would really say, look into it. That's my tip for free. I'm telling you, there is people, right, that donated a few hundred dollars back in the days and came back and were like, oh, yeah, I had that purpose. Where is that? Oh, yeah, whoa, what the fuck? It's 1,200 now. They didn't even think about it. Like, and that's the thing. If purpose reaches 100 bucks, they would literally, you know, this $200 would be fucking 40K. They would go like, what the fuck? It's like these people that have Bitcoin on their wallets and forgot about it. And now Bitcoin is 40K or 35K. Uh, if you make a wallet on the APK beta, does it still exist in the real game? You can copy the 12 word passphrase. You can use the passphrase. It just works with passphrases. I tried to watch the video on Purpose or Doobie. Basically, Doobie is what you get when you lock Purpose. There is a buy wall and a supply wall. A buy wall is what Reese puts to buy the doobie, a supply wall is the supply wall of purpose at which it's bought. And every purpose that we put is in, in chunks. A chunks of, uh, we sell 10K, then 11K, then 12K. And if one chunk is bought fully, then the purpose dings, the supply wall goes up by 0.4% and the buy wall goes up by 0.4%. And that way, every time it dings, the price keeps going up. You can actually look at the roadmap. It's 0.6% and 0.4%. I think 0.4% is the increase of the, of the supply wall and 0.6% of the buy wall or the other way around. So people use real money to buy stuff in game. The way it works is people, if you have purpose, you can go to gaming for good and you get everything 30% you get 30% more for whatever you buy. So if you go to Gaming for Good and you spend $1,000 worth of purpose, you get $1,300 worth of goods in the game. That's how it works. And the purpose gets burned. So it reduces it from the supply chain. What do you plan on doing with the money you earn? Well, just do good. When does it get burned again? When you buy it, stuff. Instead of the, the purpose going to us, it gets burned and you get then the sent, stuff sent into the game. That's how it works. Will purpose stay low if the game won't release? I think things can, can go quite crazy, quite quite fast. Why would I get rid of purpose? Well, if you want to buy stuff in the game, right? Because you might say like, why would I want to buy stuff in the game? Because the game itself is actually a really good way. Like, I'll, I'll give you guys an example, right? Does Dubby, like if you spend Dubby on gaming for good, it also gets burned. But like, why would you spend purpose on gaming for good is when you want to spend in the game, you're better off getting purpose and then spending purpose in on gaming for good because you get 30% better deal. But why would you want to spend in the game? Because you can export streamers. And you might say like, why would I care with exporting streamers? 
every month is a new season. So if you export, let's say, a popular streamer season one, once the one month has passed, nobody can ever export a season one Soda Poppin, for example. And then you basically have a season one Soda Poppin that keeps going up in value. It's like baseball cards. Like, it's fucking, really fucking smart system. Because now you, you really want to export. And now instead of just having Dubian purpose, you have all these, you know, you will have all these, these, these unique skins. Will there be NFTs in the, your game? What is NFTs? Non-fungible token. What is a non-fungible token? Ah, NFTs. The streamers, the streamers that you export are NFTs. A team doesn't work. I don't know that. I don't know the word NFTs, but I understand what it is. If you say like CryptoKitties, I get it. Like streamers that you export are NFTs. You need Ether to buy, to get purpose. You need Ether. Why don't you trade purpose for teeter or some what? Will purpose ever go down in value in the future or do you think it will go up forever? I think it's extremely unlikely because the system, the math adds up and can literally provide the value for a hundred years. So why would it go down? The buy wall is supported. Like it's basically, okay, so let me, let me explain you, right? Reese from his own uh, will says, I'm going to buy any doobie for $3 each, right? Very simple. All doobie that you sell, I will buy for $3. Reese as well, puts purpose on DBX for $3. He says, here is 10K purpose for $3 each. Once all this 10K purpose is bought, he goes, ah, now instead of $3, I will give $3 and one cent for each doobie. And here's another 11K purpose. And the way he can just keep buying the doobie is because the doobie, you can only get doobie by locking for a year. So since $100 goes into purpose, Reese can basically support buying Doobie for at least 100 years, 10 years uh, because of it going up, if you calculate it through the math. Plus, if you look at banks, how they do it, even though we're not a bank or anything, you only need to have 10% of the value to provide 100% backup. That is the explanation, very simple. And you can go and check the roadmap. And there you can literally see the math. You can do the math yourself. And it's fucking waterproof. The crazy thing is also that uh, not only like is it waterproof, like when, 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 when you look at it, it just keeps going up. And it's in Reese's own benefit to keep the buy wall and supply wall up because it just keeps going up. It's basically, uh, it's basically uh, like Tether. Uh, it's a stable coin, which value keeps going up. It's an increasing stable coin. Once our game becomes mainstream and purpose becomes mainstream, I'm, I would almost bet money that even Tether moves to this uh, system. Like I see a lot of coins that are gonna start moving to this system. Will 30% incentivize people enough to use pros instead of just using dollars? 
for sure, whales will use purpose, for sure. Are there any downsides to locking purpose when you want to hold it? Is there a fee? Uh, there is the, 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 the fee, the ether fee you have to pay for the transaction, but that's not for us. Depending on the value, sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. Expect a three, six, 12 months active player base. I think after three months, a few million, six months, maybe more than 10 million, hmm, five million. Let's say five and 12 months, 10 million. But it might be even more. Also, we don't pay, like people here are stacked on, on purpose. A lot of people just got themselves purpose. I want to say something as well about that, right? Duby and purpose has the biggest team of devs behind it. Bigger than Ethereum and bigger than Bitcoin. People don't fucking realize it. It's fucking crazy. The amount of developers that is working on our game and on making purpose more valuable is more than Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's just a, it's a, it's a sleeping giant. You can only get purpose with Ether, yeah. No, the game doesn't mine crypto on your phone because the mining crypto on your phone doesn't do shit. You need special hardware for it. Quantity is not quality. Yes, I know, but the quality here is crazy. People work 24 seven, no weekends, nothing. I mean, like it's on another level. No, no, they're not all noobs. There are some people that are very, very competent in here. Extremely competent. Look at the game. They're all incentivized to boost purpose price. They just believe in, in, in the projects. It's not about making money. But yet, people here that have a lot of purpose, they will get rich, yeah. Yeah, it's also a quantity ar argument. They do a lot of hours, but yeah. They're very, very dedicated. A lot of people here got used, like the thing is, let me tell you something, Eld. Every single person that comes over here, right? When they leave, they dump all their savings into purpose. Every single fucker that, like almost every single guy that came over left, dumps everything into purpose. We just saw it on fucking DBX. Guy comes, leaves, everything into purpose. You know why? They come here, they see how we are working, they see how fucking organized it is. They say, fuck this shit. I don't want to be hardcore. I just want to fucking, you know, leech. And they leave and they just go like, I'm going to get myself some nice purpose and don't have to worry about shit anymore. <laughs> For real. People that come over here, they leave and they get all, they get purpose. Why was purpose forked? Purpose was forked several times. The last time it got forked to reduce the ether, uh, to, to reduce the ether uh, locking costs by 75% and also to make it compatible with our off-chain solution that we're going to uh, implement later this year that will reduce transaction costs even more. How, why is the game not out yet? Because so many competent people are working on it nonstop for almost five years. It's almost four years, first of all. Secondly, Cyberpunk, team of more than 300 people work on it for, what is it, 10 years? And look how buggy it was. Like the game that we make is so rich. It's, it's the most complicated mobile game on the App Store by far. You can, like, like the amount of shit that is in there, you think you can just stream? Streaming took us a year to make that. 
the development of cyberpunk only started in 2016. That's not true. Aren't you afraid that the, that the features in the game is overwhelmingly much? Nope. They really get introduced very slowly. Is that true that Cyberpunk only started working on it for three years? I didn't know that. But they said that also about Titan. They already had a team. I bet there was already people working on it. Yeah, pre-development. Yeah, yeah pre-development, yeah. But I think the 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 best one of the best uh, giveaways, right, is when people come over here, they go all in into purpose. That's really something to think about. Uh, why people would do that? They leave and they go all in into purpose. Why the fuck would they do that? Will you ask pay big streamers to play at the start? No, I won't. It has to happen organically. If purpose is that crazy coin that will blow up very soon, there aren't people here in Discord insanely lucky. Yeah, you guys are fucking lucky. And it's not like lucky, like I'm just doing you guys a favor because I don't fucking need the money. And the funny thing is it's all gonna happen and it's gonna blow up and you're gonna look back and say like, man, fucking hell, this is crazy. But you got to trust, of course, if you don't trust. I mean, there's people when it was at half a dollar, right? I was saying like, guys, you guys are going to be scrambling when it's at one dollar. And the people said, fuck you, fuck you. Then I put it on one dollar and I said like, what was it back then? Buy wall is two dollars or something. I don't fucking know what it was. People were scrambling to pay for, to give for one dollar. You guys remember? I said, you guys are going to regret for not getting for half a dollar. Do you guys remember that shit? And then people fucking going cray cray for one dollar. That one guy that was going fucking ham in the chat. A thing, a thing. He was first saying like, no, I don't want, I don't want. You can sell purpose, sure. And then he went, went to rage mode because he didn't get it. He said the exact same thing two years ago. Well, two years ago, purpose was, what, what was it? One dollar? Now it's three. Mr. Victor Carlson. So yeah, what is this HODL address? HODL address is uh, when, when people HODL their purpose, I think it goes to the HODL address. People don't even get that the price got higher. Yeah, price got higher without Tressa, if you have Ether and it's like at 100 and then it drops to 50 and then it's 200 and it drops to, tw to, to whatever, like it's so stressful to hold crypto. When did you come up with the idea of a mobile game? It was in 2016, yeah. I think it was 2016. There is no stocks for the game. You want stocks in the game, the closest is purpose, even though it's not stocks. You want to you wanna ride the wave, you get purpose. If the game does well, purpose is going to go, but I think purpose is going to blow up. Definitely now. It's going to go fucking bananas. 
imagine when Wall Street bets gets a gets a gets a smell of purpose. It's going to be fucking crazy, and it's going to happen. It's going fucking happen. Uh, game release next month or before Christmas? No, no, no. Like it's looking really good. It's looking good for February. I'm not going to guarantee it though, but it looks really good. I would have been crazy stressed when you asked people to trust you and lock it away for at least a year, shortly after you disappeared from Twitch for months. No. No, man. But then you don't lock, you know. Ah, when people got purpose initially. But the doobie was already fucking worth more than, than the donation. We will see when it comes out. You will help people with the money you earn, but what about pe the people getting addicted to the game and losing too much money? What about their kids? If they don't lose it on Clash of Streamers, they lose it on something else, man, on AFK Arena or whatever. Also, you can export your progress and, and, and get some back of what you put into. So yeah, it's not like with AFK Arena, you, your account is worthless. If you have crazy progress in Clash of Streamers, you can recoup quite a bit. I'm just a modern Robin Hood, yeah. The new beta should be between the 10th and 15th February, I think. What's your plan on expanding development and company marketing in the future? Are you going to make that investment or just rely on your current team? I'm a, like when it comes down to marketing, I'm, I by myself am a marketing machine. I just by myself can, can basically do most of the marketing. Well, together with Reese, we went so much viral back in the days and we didn't had a real reason to do so. We will just go viral left and right all the time. It's not going to be hard. If you lose so much money on a game, doesn't matter because you have it. Some other people have real issues, so let him milk. Can I make a wallet without having to do the full tutorial for the blockchain building? If you wait three minutes, you can skip the tutorial. Front page Reddit again, yeah, but not with uh, accusations or whatever the fuck. Were you thinking of not connecting the game with you at all? It was discussed, yeah, it was discussed. Because I have no ego about it. If it's better to, because we already removed a lot of my face. Huh? The game has become a lot less my face. It's completely removed, basically. If Soda gives a referral link, you don't even see a theme. Even the logo has Soda, not a theme. Is it true people have been running out of work since 2018? Yes and no. Yes and no. But yeah, people have been running out, but we have been, you know giving them different tasks and stuff. But now people are actually running out. Six people, six coders have been running out already and starting to work on code of other people. It's, it's a lot, by the way. They're working on code, on fixing bugs of other people. Normally everybody has their own features and they fix their bugs. Six people have fixed all their bugs and everything and are fixing other people's bugs. And the only thing, we're doing now is fixing bugs. Productivity app is almost fully designed. I think by the time we launch, the productivity app will be fully done design-wise. And then 
the docs have to be written, and then it's basically done. Reese is the guy providing the buy wall and the supply wall. Both. Which is perfectly, I mean, legal. Nothing illegal about that. The Athene Church doesn't become the Soda Church, no. The community becomes Soda, but the church stays a thing. When will the beta of the desktop version of the productivity app be released? Oh, that's going to be a year, a year from now. The supply wall sets a ceiling. It's not a ceiling, it sets what's the opposite of a ceiling. The purpose is the ceiling, but the doobie is the floor. You get me? So it sets a ceiling for purpose and a floor for, for, for doobie. So people can sell Doobie for more than what Reese buys it for, or can sell purpose for less than Reese sell, sells it for. You get me? That's how it works. What are the reasons behind making Reese being responsible legally for purpose? He's the one selling and buying. He can trade as much as he wants. I cannot. I'm the one that, that can create the token and can I can only give it out for free. The moment I sell the token, it becomes a security token and that's illegal. So the only thing I can do is give away the token. I cannot make any profit. Do you really think people put trust in a token where one guy controls the system? This goes against the crypto ideology. Nobody gives a shit about crypto ideology. People just care about things going up. Look at fucking GME. <laughs> it's just a fad, but people buy it because it goes up. Nobody gives a shit about ideology or whatever. I thought that too. I know GME is not even crypto, but I'm just saying it as an example. Nobody gives a shit. They just want to make money. Doesn't it come off sketchy to the crypto community? I don't care. I really don't care if it comes sketchy or not. The game is going to pump and uh, crypto and uh, dubian purpose is going to pump. If they don't want to join the train, they can go on haters forums and talk schmack like fucking haters did it already now saying this and that while others are just making six, 10, 50 times their money. Who cares? The buy wall and sell wall gradually increases as, uh, as layers gets, uh, gets, gets removed. Here you can see. We are at level 70 right now. There, you can see how it goes. So right now we're at level 70. And every time the next batch is sold, it goes up, it dings. Yes. It's a very smart system. Either way, you guys have any questions before I peace out? People can also always, you know, apply. Here's the link. People can also try it again. Ah, Dioza, you must have had a version that doesn't have the bomb. You need the version with the bomb. Dioza, I'm sorry. There's many versions. You probably got to... Because we were A-B testing. <laughs> you got to play to level 8. It's only 5 minutes of play. And then there you can skip. You can't pre-register on iOS anymore. Oh yeah, and people that want DubiX, what is the link? Can someone link the videos? Yeah, there and also DubiX. Okay. Yeah, like for real guys, look into it, huh? look into it. Huh? And see you guys uh, tomorrow. Peace out. Well, actually later today. Should we advertise purpose and doobie on WSB? Ah, it's not needed. Once the game comes out, it's going to blow up anyway. Peace out, guys.